Good Sunday morning. And good Lord, welcome to Ice Age TV, the internal combustion engine age YouTube channel. It has way too many cars for one guy. And man almighty, it's a Sunday morning car show. Good morning for anybody who's following my channel. Got my Ford hat. This is pretty funny. Got my Ford hat, my Harley hat, and what am I going to drive? It is cold. It's 30s. They were saying snow earlier. I mean, what the heck do we drive? I mean, what do we drive? I mean, what do we drive? I should drive the Ford trucks, but man, I just know that my kid loves that Challenger. You see the uh, the rock blocks, flash guards I put on it yesterday? What a freaking project. I mean, what a project. I spent hours on this freaking thing. Jesus Christ. They look good. I like them, but man, I watched my video. I was irritated by the time I get done doing that. And then I put splash guards on my Ram truck, lickety split, like nothing. I mean, I was done with that in 15 minutes of even that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so dilemmas, decisions. What do we drive? I mean, what do I drive? I got the F-150 race truck, the Ram truck, the Bronco, the Maverick. I mean, what do you take to the car show? Or who's going to be at the car show? Be 30s. Who's going to be at the car show? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you think about it. <laughs> I, I mean, this is this is for me, for the record. So if you got a high-performance car with high-performance tires, you're not supposed to drive those things in 30-degree weather. But oh, we'll argue about that all day long. So like, ah, you're full of baloney, dude. Oh, you're just, you're depressing. Lightning, and the bird's crap all over it. Good job. Getting a lot of responses out of people that are watching my short videos about the charging this vehicle. It's amazing how many people are, uh, this thing's a piece of junk. It's a disgrace to hum humanity. You're brainwashed if you buy one. I mean, it's incredible how, it's incredible how these electric vehicles are creating so much more hate than love. I mean, really. I mean, there's some of you out there that want nothing to do with this. But yet, the automotive industry thinks that everybody wants these things. What is going on? Ford the next, next Silicon Valley Bank? I mean, sincerely, is Ford the next Silicon Valley Bank? I don't know. I mean, they don't... I'm not even sure Ford does not have its act together. I mean, it really doesn't. I mean, I'm, I'm, some people be like... What does that mean? Well, what that means is Ford has constant challenges and the challenges that they've got is, is keeping production up and keeping the quality control up and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. But yet, I gotta find my race truck key. So I'm gonna race truck key here and I'm gonna get on, the, get the truck started up and warm up because do I take the Bronco? What about that idea? Nobody sees those Broncos. Everybody's seen the race truck. You know what I mean? And the Bronco is just so fun. But you know, this thing here is a lot of fun. I think I'm going to take the Bronco. I'm going to change it up. I'm going to change it up. I'm going to take the Bronco. What does a kid take, right? All right. Let's get the Bronco started up. And let's get coffee all over me. Listen, listen to this uh, exhaust. The good old V6. Common noise now. That's pretty incredible. I had a chance to get this truck a free exhaust system on this truck. Don't tell me to throw people over this thing. This Bronco, it is so nice. And I'd be the first to raise my hand and tell anybody who has a wild track, I wouldn't do it. But now that I own one. <laughs> I'm more like, yeah, okay, I'd do it. Huh. I mean, really. These things here getting up in here, I'm trying to give you the whole, the whole experience turned on. And woo, brr. Here's what I'm gonna do. Kids run late. I'm gonna go get gas, get breakfast. By the time she uh, gets up to town, I'd be fine. Now here's the broken uh, windshield, cracked windshield. Uh, I should say a uh, chip in the windshield. How about that idea? Let's go ahead and get the uh, barn doors closed. Yeah, I mean, it's this Bronco overall, just so cool. It really is. So, 
Maybe, maybe let my daughter know what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, get out of the driveway. <clears throat> yeah, it's 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 spring forward, so late. Is everybody running late? I'm running late. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's it's freezing out. I mean sincerely, just stand around a parking lot right now and talk to people for hours, yeah. You're just freezing. <clears throat> yeah, gotta get my throat cleared up and all that fun stuff. Yeah, yeah, so anyways, uh, just a Sunday morning, making another video. You know, sometimes I think don't make one, sometimes I think make one. And I just figured, eh, I'll just make one, just to have my usual yabba-dabba talk in it. And yeah, select few will listen to it, and the majority won't, I know that, but whatever. But anyways, somebody in a hurry, in a hurry, or in a hurry, in a hurry. They're, they're flying tail right there. So anyways, yeah, the, uh, the Ford Bronco, I think this thing just so badass definitely just a really really nice vehicle and but going back to ford you know is ford going to be the next silicone valley bust or silicone valley bank i mean anybody reading about this thing this silicone valley bank thing it's pretty disturbing they're already saying monday morning well how the market's going to react to this and it's a, it's, it's classic late friday afternoon the markets basically are closing up this whole fiasco plays out so the markets really didn't, I see the full blunt of what's going on, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I'm not the financial advisor, analyst guy, but just lots of stories. But anyways, yeah, I mean, with Ford right now, I tell you what, the Ford F-450 truck, you're there right now, you're not going to get one. These Ford F-450 trucks, the four doors, especially loaded up ones, Dealers are getting 20, 30 grand over. If you've got a used F450 right now, you can probably get 10 grand more in the market on your own than uh, what you paid for it. Yeah, I mean, so just incredible because Ford can't make them. I'm not making this up. Ford cannot produce Ford F450s in mass quantities right now. They can't do it, they don't have materials. But I think are they sacrificing materials for the F-150 Lightning? Well, they're going to build 150,000 Ford F-150 Lightning this year. That's their goal. I just give myself, this just makes no sense. That on one aspect, the, you know, one hand, they can't build the trucks because they don't have enough materials. But on the other, you know, other hand, they're telling you they can build a gazillion freaking Lightning trucks. For what? For why? Trying to sing in sport mode. Where's sport? I think I just passed it. There it is. So, uh, so anyways, the, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Just sitting here trying to get in the middle of the road and all that stuff. And, uh, <clears throat> I was trying to get my voice. Yeah, is my voice all cracked up for all the work I did yesterday. You see how many videos I I posted me doing all these projects yesterday. Oh my goodness. So, the, uh, Ford right now, Coons Ford, Sterling, Baltimore, Falls Church, Woodbridge, they have like four stores. They have like 353 Ford F-150s. You know, that's that's basically 80. There you go. Hey, baby. Dad, where did you go? I texted you, baby. I didn't have my phone in my butt. All right, read your text. Okay, sorry. It's okay. I, I'm i just leaving right now. I hurried for you. <laughs> no, it's all right, baby. No worries. You're good. Where am I going to meet you? Well, I'm going to go to Costco and get gas first. And then after I get gas, I'll go to McDonald's. So uh, you'll be right there. How are you doing? Whatever you take, you know. We'll make it work. You can call me. This gate opener isn't working. I'm taking the dually, like you said. Okay, you can take whatever you want. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye. Oh, the challenges of being young, right? The challenges. So anyways, that's 90, you know, F-150s per store. Is that something, you know, bad? I have no idea. I mean, these dealers are moving two, three hundred cars a month, so I guess that that's typical. I guess that they'll sell them. But at the same time, I think, man, Ford's the healthiest 
of manufacturing per se of other manufacturers that agree and is the gloom and doom here is the 2022 what i predicted is that i predicted 2022 but in the year this country be going broker than broke and it'd be dire financial circumstances and i have a 20k stock market that's what i really thought last year would play out but it hasn't so now is now the that can start to play out this year? I don't know. There's so many gloomer doomers out there that have been waiting for this moment for this country to go broke that I guess they're excited as all get out. My Ford Raptor finally sold up there. My Ford Raptor sold up there for a little while. So the Ram TRX trucks are still hot items. So, you know, the car market, for the moment, there's nothing radical going on that reflects that this country still isn't pretty financially strong. Because the cars are moving. And dealers are still getting ADM on these vehicles that they can't get. But the Lightning trucks, yeah, the Lightning trucks, they're still selling, but I don't think they're selling like they used to. The whole point is, like I said earlier, is to get just a majority out there just despise these electric vehicles. And I get a lot of rude comments on my channel when I post electric truck which a lot of people are just like you know just a waste yeah right all right so said at the car show on a 34 degree day i mean the diehards right the diehards am i a diehard yeah i don't know it's, i'm not i'm not a diehard car show guy but we'll do a drive-by see what's going on and just see how it plays out all right, here we are. What the hell's going on now? Body works. What's that all about? So there's some people over there. <laughs> it's crazy. I'll never make this. That sucks. Oh, well. All right, and I can see the others are coming to the show. I'm going to get gas, but there's your high-performance vehicles. Do they have, you know... Summer tires? They're all season. Oh, the Corvettes could have all season. All right, let's get some gas for the gas hog. All right, look at the gas price today. How does that play out today? Nobody here. For the most part, this thing's usually packed. Not an early Sunday morning, especially in spring four, people are still in bed. Here is a local guy that loves to put up flags. He is the flag guy. Look at his car. I mean, he is set up to put flags everywhere. Wow, sir. Even I'm amazed for the showing right now. Look at this here. I'm amazed. Yeah, I just saw a guy in a really nice Viper show up. And there's my buddy. Right there. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm stumped. There's the kid. Oh, look at that there. There you go. How about that, huh? That nice jag right there. Or Aston Martin, excuse me. There's the Viper. What the hell's going on back here? It makes no sense to me. There's the kid. What's he doing now? Right, not it's light. Morning. A little light, but we gotta go check this thing out. The 70 CUDA. What's it got in it? What motor is in this CUDA? It's like a 340? 340. Oh, right. Wow. Look at this here. Is this nice or what? Wow. This looks very, very original. Got to find out who owns Whose car is this? <laughs> Morning. Yeah. Morning, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. I am a big Mopar guy. I've got a YouTube channel called Ice Age TV, and I do uh, weekly uh, car show videos. Is there any way we can get information on this car from you without intruding your private space on my video? 
Okay, great. Well, hey, I'm a Mopar guy, so I, I always wanted one of these. I had a 71 Cuda, 340. Gotcha. So this looks all original. It is. Never been touched as far as paint, interior. Oh, no, 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 no. It's been touched. Oh, it has. Okay. How long have you owned the car? 16 years. Nice. And the paint repainted, interior redone? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it really looks original. I mean, it really does still, doesn't look like they overdid it, maybe? No. You, kinda, you know what I mean? No, there's no overdid. Right. All right, so how many miles are on the car? Uh, 50 some thousand miles. Original? Uh, it appears to be, yeah. Okay. Love the exhaust. That is, that is awesome. That is really neat. On the side, coming out yeah, there, that is a uh, factory look, right? That's, no, that's the way it was built. Right, right, that's what I'm saying. This is, this is awesome. I've got, a, I've got Hellcats and all, and I've got, you know, just a ton of Mopar products. So, anyways, uh, did you grow up Mopar, or were you a yeah. Ford guy? You grew up Mopar. Mopar yeah. What was your prior Mopar, growing up? Your 67 Barracuda convertible. Oh, nice. 250 bucks. <laughs> Is that something? Wow. Now, stick, auto? It's auto. Okay. All right. Uh, do you wish you held on to that now? I still have it. Oh my gosh! Wow! This is awesome. You live local here by chance? Arlington. Okay, nice. All right. So, did you get this from somebody local here? Have to travel out of state or? South Carolina. In nice. South Carolina. Wow. You, so, you drive this occasionally on the weekend, or I mean, do you kind of? I drive it. You use it. All right. So I really didn't check out the interior too much. And it's a good old pistol grip. Oh my gosh. I had the exact same car, but mine was not your package. And did you have to replace the trunk? Somebody else re did, redid the pan, I'm sure of that. You know, the good old rust, the pan in the back trunk. I'm sure they re put a newer one in that did a better job of draining the water out of it. Did you know much about that? You knew about yeah. that. Yeah, oh, these car, things. This car, I have a full inspection from uh, David Vines, Mopar guy. Okay. And uh, matter of fact, the inspection was done, uh, verification was done about six months ago. Wow. So just redid the uh, six pack. Okay. We had issues with the six pack. And right. Can't get them done around here. Right. So, took advantage of it, brought them down in Michigan. Yeah. Came to the shop, verified every panel, everything that is on the car. It's about forty-five hundred dollars for the inspection. It's all they do. Wow! Wow! Pictures so, taken, all the panel numbers. Right, but that's really nice. So, end of the day, mm -hmm. the right fender was the only fender that was blown to 1972. Wow, that's how thorough it is. Wow, but you never have known that had he not done that. Yeah, but I knew it was damaged. Okay, all right. Right. Now, plum crazy, correct? Right. And do you know what number build or how many did they build in 1970? Do you know this car? I have all that information, yeah. It was like 300, 500, no, something no, roughly. No, 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 no. 1100, I believe. 1100, the four speed. 2200 total AARs. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's good to know. So, what is your guesstimation not that you're going to sell it but what would this bring in the market you think today would be your no sale this goes into uh it's in the trust it goes to the kids wow stays in the family that's awesome money isn't the uh subject that's the subject no, 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 no. right so are your kids your kids to drive it yeah they no, no, nice. he, he was back from college yesterday and uh we went to katie's Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. I, I let him tear off the gear. <laughs> That's sweet. You have to. Oh, of course. I mean, I got to, I, I mean. You can you can babysit it, you know what I mean? You got to drive these cars. Right. Well, I get you. Now, boy, when you, before you leave, I definitely want to hear that exhaust. I mean, oh, my gosh. It's just got to have a nice rumble to it. Yeah. Do you come up to the, uh, the Dulles Landing? Is that where you usually go? No, 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 Katie's. Where's that? In Great Falls. Oh, okay, I got you. Right, right. Beautiful car. Really is. This is just really nice. Wow. 
It's a beautiful little piece of shit. I mean, wow. This is a little, uh, Oh, that's badass. Nice. Right. Right. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. Beautiful here. Whose car is this? Yours? Yeah. Right. You're the red eye guy. So I got the gold rush. Okay. Did you know that? Uh-uh. I just picked it up last fall. Okay. And I had a, I had this, an octane red. But I like your stripe package. Well, see, that is that I'm is so this, nice. This is painted. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. Yeah, that yeah, is beautiful. They did, a, they did a good job. If it was sunny and this is metallic, it would pop pretty hard. But because it's not sunny, you, know, you can't see it. But what year is this? Twenty one. Nineteen. A nineteen. This is a nineteen with nine thousand miles on it. Wow. Okay. So. Yeah, and it's a red eye, which now has bonker numbers on it. Yeah. Exactly. You know exactly what you have, but you change I out do. the wheels. I do. They I look my, good. I got my you know, double rims at home. But right. How do you like those wheels? You like them? Or I like them. Oh, it's really good. I mean, it gives it a little good character to it. Yes. Sporty. Because there's so many of the dark, you know, wheel packages on these cars. Right, right. right. Everybody has that. They get dusty. Look yeah. No, I like I it. Change the brakes. Then you got a tire. Well, you these can... guys, it's 335s on the back. Right, I was gonna say you have a tire connects. Yeah. This car connects. This is badass. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, red eye. You get the personalized tag. Yeah. See, right now I've had six Hellcats since 2016. Yeah, I've had a, I had a 2017 uh, first one. I had I had a I had a RT right. uh, Charger. Then I went to a, uh, a 2017 Hellcat right. pitch black, and then I I went all the way to Alabama to get this. So you bought it with the painted stripes? No. You did it. So here's what I bought it with. I bought a, you know, car. Hey, I got a YouTube channel. I'm doing videos right now. Oh, cool. Just so you don't, I mean, if you, if that's yeah. bugging you, I'll turn it off. No, no, go ahead. Okay, okay, good. No, when I originally <laughs> bought the car, the guy had painted it with an enamel paint. What? On the stripes. <laughs> and they what? started to chip, but you couldn't <laughs> take it off. You're right. So we had to go all the way down to oh, the metal. Yeah. And, then, and you can see the stripes go all the way down. Yeah, but it's beautiful. But they did a hell of they a did, job. They did a great job. I mean, did better than what Dodge would right. do. Right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is like just really had, nice. Yeah, and I had it coated twice with. Uh, and, and it blends right because some stripes look too obnoxious. Right, you know what I mean? Right. There's right. a fine line there where it's like you're a skunk going down the road. <laughs> I just don't. I, stripes are a fine <laughs> line. Hey, there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of you know, there's there's stripe people subtle. and then there's not. Yeah, yeah, people. yeah, but this is so more subtle. <laughs> but it, when you once you get in to look in the car, it really I, pops. Yeah, I wish that you know? sun would come out because you really see a different a view of it all together when, when the sun hits it. So you gonna let this thing go anytime soon? Well, I mean, I, I know what it's worth, and uh, right, but you, you know, can't replace them after yeah, this year. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to let this, I mean, obviously, uh, performance you know. spoiler yeah. like that. Yeah. So that's nice. Anything. I've got the 309 rear. Right. So I had, and I got everything I want to, I mean, when you Sun look at jailbreak, this oh, has I know. everything. Yeah, and it's ridiculous. People are paying for them. People are buck paying 25, for Buck 25, buck 40. In, in 19, there was no jailbreak. Right. It was just, it was just options. You, you Yeah, I know. And people don't understand what it is. Yeah. You just want to, and when, you know, it's, it blows you away. I go to these Dodge dealers, and one of the guys will order jailbreak but it's not there's no pizzazz it's yeah. like if you're gonna build a jailbreak you're gonna do stupid looking wheels stupid yeah. looking interior you're gonna have all yeah. this stupid looking yeah. 70s yeah. theme and they just build a regular you know and i'm like how is that a jailbreak right exactly. because that's where it gets the crazy like you know you do the brass monkey wheels right. here right. you do the red demonic or you do the peanut right. butter you or you know the, the blue five right the, right and then the red it looks like yeah. a superman yeah, yeah exactly hey buddy how are you yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so this is just awesome. So this is beautiful. Wheels, man. They you look it. I just put them on. They are beautiful. Yeah, that's like, just, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You came in. It, I mean, it, that's what. It I mean, jumps. like, wow. Yeah. yeah it I jumps. I got a buddy. I don't like him much, but he told me, he said, you should get some nice wheels put on there. <laughs> right here next yeah. to you. Oh, shit. <laughs> when did you get here, Bruce? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bruce. Yeah, what's Bruce driving? The green listen. one? Yeah. Is he driving the green one? <laughs> He's driving the Ford? Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, the Ford guys. I tell you. Yeah. It took, it took yeah. a year for him to finally get yeah. me. I'm like, okay, man, I'll get the Ford you. This thing comes with the oars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, exactly, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah we well, you know, yeah, uh huh. The lazy man's car. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. over the road man car. Oh, I've got the GT 500s and the Hellcats. I know. Over the road yeah, man. Yeah, car. yeah, right, right, right. That's, I mean, uh, oh man, yeah. this thing. 
these cars you can go to California. Oh, like yeah. nothing. Yeah. Well, I, like you say, I drove it from Alabama to here. Yeah. 12 hours. I drove it. You know, yeah. an 800 horsepower car driving it. You know, With 22 day, miles you know, per gallon. Yeah. Right? Because, right. I mean, you know, you can control it. I just put it on an eco mode. Yeah. And I was just, yeah. I mean, I'm not racing anybody. Right. At all. Yeah. Just, yeah. Well, you but, know what you can do. Go to jail because you smoked the guy so bad. That's the challenge. When we were younger, if you had like the Chevelles <laughs> oh, right. and, and yeah. you had 800 horsepower, you sure as fuck weren't driving right. here to oh. Alabama. Well, that's because you had like 411 gears. Right, right. right. Then you had that's the low. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 411s, 456, yeah, 456, you know. Yeah. Wait, and then you had the. 488. Right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. Then you had the lope with the motor. Boom, 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 you're sitting there at the light, the, you know, five yeah. miles. All right, these gentlemen here are going to head out. Just met them, really nice guys, beautiful cars, and kind of so light right here. But let's just here. And, and that gentleman there convinced that guy there to put those wheels and tires on that car. I think it looks really good. I like it. But interesting, your car. If your car was here, you could show them your exhaust, right? My daughter here is intrigued by all this. I'm trying to explain to her that everything, this car is exactly the way it came off the showroom floor in 1970. The rally wheels, the tires, get your tires. I don't ignore you. Let's go walk around. Well, I don't know. I thought it was over here on... Oh, good question. This is behind the, behind the license plate, I think. No, no, that's a great question. And for me, it's been so many years since I've owned one that the, uh, yeah, it's behind here, I think. Yeah, see there? Right there, yeah. Right behind the, uh, the license plate. So, I don't want to play the guy's car. But anyways, so yeah, this is all the, you know, factory interior, factory exhaust, I mean, everything. This here, and like the gentleman was talking about, that six-barrel setup, okay, there's got three separate carburetors under there. To get those all to tune with each other is very challenging. Very challenging. So, you know, that's a, that's a problem. <laughs> so, he's got the hood pins. Now, were those factory? I don't know. I would, I would, I don't, I have no, I don't know. He claims it's all original. He claims he paid a guy $4,100 to document this car. Document. Document it that it's all original, except for the right fender is the only thing that's not original. But he claims this is in his trust for the family. It'll never be sold. So his kids will inherit this car. But Dad, and he doesn't want to sell. What is document? Well, it means it's officially been registered in as Virginia. no, no, registered as an official, you know, original car. How come it doesn't have an antique license plate? I don't know if that's him. Okay. <laughs> what? I have no idea. <laughs> Just as I mean, <laughs> you're a funny kid. What? <laughs> well, you. All right, we can't find the owner. Can't find the owner to, the, to this car. I want to do a little review on that, but can't find him. And there goes the Corvette guy, so there you go. It's cold as can be, and we have one of those. Nobody knows that in my YouTube channel. Is that car right over there? I have one of those sitting in my shed with a uh, wrap over it. You're good. See you at home. Because I like to talk a lot. Okay. I'm going to go see Bob and we're going to go to Marshall. Okay. Have fun. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Now look at that two door truck. How about that, huh? Two door to the two door, right? All right. We are leaving, and as usual, I'm like the last guy to leave here. You know, it's incredible. Two, two weekends in a row. I've had a gentleman, it's a Bronco fan, pull up, and I just spent a lot of time with a gentleman that has a Bronco, and because I drove the Raptor today, and oh my gosh, my voice like worn out. Yeah, it pretty much is. A lot of talking, man. I've been talking for like the last three hours. So anyway, it's just a really nice show again. Kind of quiet because it's so cold out here. It's 34 degrees out. 
And but it's just the uh, car lovers and addictions and what we are and you know I just made the car show theme again just to share with you that 1970 Cuda that is so you know my calling of life of where I came from and uh, so you know so I thought that was really cool to be able to kind of show you around with that I mean could you even imagine could, if what I and that's a car there if I owned that would I ever let it go no way. I mean, that car there, that's a forever car. I mean, it just is. I mean, yeah, you can probably still make a lot of money out of it, but at the same time, that's just a car you're not going to find. <laughs> and that gentleman there that I did the uh, video on, he's not going to, that car is going to be in a trust. He'll never sell it. He ain't selling that car. So, uh, pretty cool. So, anyways, just kind of keep it at that and keep the yabba dabba talking to uh, Noah talking so appreciate you watching my channel as i head on back in and stay tuned for more conversations stay safe god bless stay tuned